Welcome to a quick summary of the Elizabethan plots and vaults. This is the last GCSE history video I'll probably be doing, so yeah, hope it helps. The first important plot is the Northern Rebellion of 1069, in which the Northern Earls of Northumberland and Westmoreland rose armies to overthrow Elizabeth. But first, we need to cover the causes of the revolt. Number one is religion, just as Jesus would have wanted. There was a religious schism in England at the time. Those in the North and West were strongly Catholic and so disliked Elizabeth for obvious reasons, and so they wanted to restore Catholicism as England's core religion. Another reason is that the Earls had held greater influence under Mary's rule as Catholics, and since Elizabeth had taken the throne, their influence in court had lessened as she took on new advisers such as William Cecil and Robert Dudley. And finally, Mary Queen of Scots was now being imprisoned by Elizabeth, and as her cousin and a devout Catholic, she could be used as a figurehead for Catholics in England, and the Earls planned to place her on the throne. Moving on to the revolt itself, the Earl of Northumberland, Thomas Percy, and Earl of Westmoreland, Charles Neville, raised their forces of around 4,500 Catholics and rode on Durham, occupying the cathedral where they performed a Catholic mass. Elizabeth then rose an army of several thousand with the help of the Earl of Sussex and marched against the rebels. Hearing of this army, the rebel forces broke down and fled, bringing the rebellion to a close. As retribution, Elizabeth executed 450 Catholic rebels, along with the Duke of Northumberland at York in 1572. People called for the execution of the Duke of Norfolk, as it was planned that Mary would marry him, but Elizabeth instead decided to have him sent to the Tower of London. The Pope was outraged by this retribution against the Catholics, and so issued the Papal Bull, excommunicating Elizabeth and calling upon Catholics in England to oppose her, and avoid Protestant mass which was compulsory. This could later be used as probable cause by the Spanish to invade England. Moving on to the plots, they all revolve around Mary Queen of Scots. This makes sense as she was a Catholic Queen related to the current Queen who had no heirs just sitting around in England. A pretty good opportunity for anyone looking to overthrow Elizabeth. And this was taken advantage of in 1571 when an Italian banker Rodolfi planned to murder Elizabeth for a Spanish invasion which would place Mary on the throne, married to the Duke of Norfolk. They basically copied the Northern Isles idea. Regardless, he managed to get the support of the Pope, King Philip and the Duke of Alba, convincing them with a letter signed by the Duke of Norfolk agreeing to the plan. The invasion force planned numbered 10,000 and would be led by the Duke of Alba. Unfortunately for them, the plot was discovered by William Cecil, and so the Duke of Norfolk was tried for treason and executed. Meanwhile, Rodolphe fled the country. Parliament had also wanted Mary executed, but the Queen refused as there was no evidence she agreed to the plot. Next up is the Throckmorton plot in 1583, which was conceived by the Duke of Guise in France, who planned an invasion of England where once again Mary would be freed, made Queen and then married to Guise. It was supported by both King Philip and the Pope, and letters regarding the plot were sent to Mary, being exchanged by Throckmorton. But like last time it was discovered, this time by Walsingham's spy network, and Throckmorton was then arrested and tortured until he gave up a list of Catholic sympathisers in England. This resulted in 11,000 arrests, and to add, there was even more pressure to execute Mary. Finally, there is the Bagbington plot in 1586, the most recognisable of the three. Once again, the Duke of Guise planned to invade, replace Elizabeth with Mary and marry her, a true romantic. He was supported by King Philip and the Pope once again, this time Babington exchanged the letters regarding the plot to Mary, which were intercepted by Walsingham once again. These letters were irrefutable evidence that Mary supported the plot, and so they were the nail in the coffin for her. In October 1586 she was sentenced to death, but Elizabeth held off on signing the death warrant till February of the next year, and then Mary was beheaded. The killing of the Catholic monarch also gave Spain great justification for their invasion. 
that brings us to the end of this video on the plots during the Elizabethan era. If you enjoyed, please tap the like button and subscribe for more history based videos. The next history video I'll be doing is on the Lindus Farm Raid as part of a wider Viking England series, so watch that when it comes out and bye.